In this video, we will take a look at two examples of solving a linear equation in one variable that requires simplifying, as well as the multiplication or division property of equality. We will take a look at one example where the equation does not have parentheses, and a second example with an equation that does have parentheses. A solution to an equation is a value of the variable that satisfies the equation or makes the equation true. And many equations can be simplified as part of the solution process. To simplify an equation means to eliminate parentheses or grouping symbols and combine like terms on each side of the equation. So for the first example, we are given the equation negative 36 plus 64 equals 6x plus 3x minus 2x. Looking at the left side of the equation, negative 36 and positive 64 are like terms, and therefore we can simplify the left side. Negative 36 plus 64 equals 28. We have 28 equals. On the right side, we also have like terms. All three terms are like terms. 6x, 3x, and negative 2x are like terms, which means they can be combined. 6x plus 3x is 9x. The right side simplifies to 9x minus 2x, and 9x minus 2x is 7x, giving us the simplified equation 28 equals 7x. Looking at the simplified equation, this is now a one-step equation, meaning we can solve for x or isolate x by performing one operation to both sides of the equation. Because 7x means 7 times x, to undo the multiplication and solve for x, the next step is to divide both sides by 7. Simplifying the right side first, 7 divided by 7 is 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 28 divided by 7 is 4. So 4 equals x is equivalent to x equals 4, which is the solution to the equation. But let's verify this is the solution by making sure if we substitute 4 for x in the original equation, it will satisfy the equation or make a true statement. Starting with the original equation, we substitute 4 for x here, here, and here. This gives us negative 36 plus 64 equals 6 times 4 plus 3 times 4 minus 2 times 4. Now we simplify both sides of the equation. Negative 36 plus 64 is 28. On the right side, 6 times 4 is 24. We have 24 plus 3 times 4 is 12. And then minus 2 times 4, which gives us minus 8. We have 28 equals 24 plus 12 is 36. And 36 minus 8 is 28. 28 equals 28 is true, verifying the solution is correct. Let's look at our second example. Here we're given the equation negative 2 times the quantity x plus 3 plus 6 equals 16. Notice the right side of the equation does not simplify, but we can simplify the left side by clearing the parentheses and combining like terms. To simplify the left side, the first step is to distribute negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. We have negative 2x plus negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Remember, plus negative 6 is equivalent to minus positive 6. Let's rewrite this as just minus 6. And then we saw plus 6 equals 16. Simplifying the left side, negative 6 and 6 are like terms. Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. The left side of the equation simplifies to negative 2x, giving us a simplified equation of negative 2x equals 16. Notice the simplified equation is a one-step equation because negative 2x means negative 2 times x. To undo the multiplication and solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 2. Simplifying negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1. 1 times x is x. We have x equals 16 divided by negative 2 is negative 8. The solution to the equation is x equals negative 8. But again, let's verify this by substituting negative 8 for x into the original equation. Substituting negative 8 for x gives us negative 2 times the quantity negative 8 plus 3 plus 6 equals 16. Simplifying the left side, we simplify inside the parentheses first. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. 
Next, negative two times negative five is positive 10, and 10 plus six is 16. 16 equals 16 is true. Verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.